Hey there guys, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and we're gonna go up this ladder right here. Now, one thing I do have to comment on this game, all the action or like all the like interesting stuff that happens throughout this game happens really late at, at really really late, like very, at the very end of the game. You know, you gotta admit, like the first world floor is like the story was just like, oh let's just go blaze through here, but you know, like after, like around the second floor area, like the second half of that, that's where like the story picks up. That's what, that's one thing that I do have to complain about the game. But then, I don't know. I don't. Re I really like the game though. It's not that bad of a game. Anyways, let's continue on with this. They've been talking. I've just been babbling on while they were talking. How rude am I? On a scale of one to four, I'm like a three out of three point two. Rejoice, Dominate! The hero you've longed for is nearly here! She's just quiet. What, what? She's like a prisoner of war right now. She literally is a prisoner of war. Did I just say literary? Literally. Yep, that is true. All you need to do is layer the memories one by one by eight and bring his heart closer. Why did they just teleport away? Why are they leaving Axel and Nominee alone? Is there, is there gonna be like a little perverted scene here? Suggestive scenes? Huh? 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 Okay, so we won't be able to see the suggestive scene, but whatever. Hey, it's Riku! With his... Ugly clothes. Hey, you don't pull that sword out right there, man. And I'm not talking about the other sword. I'm protecting Nominate from you because it's what my heart tells me to do. I promised her. I promised Nominate I'd keep her safe. And if I don't keep her safe, then I break my promise. Ah -ha! There was a meteor shower one night when she and I were little. We were so little, we were probably like 3.8 years old. Pi squared. Nominate got scared and said, What if a shooting star hits the island? So I told her, If a shooting star comes this way, I'll protect you. And then, and then... You made a promise and you had a toy sword? Ha! <laughs> that's weird, because that's the same promise I made. Uh-oh. But that was my promise. On the night of the meteor shower, I said I'd protect her. You liar! It was just me and her! You weren't there. Maybe you were. Maybe you were the third wheel. But I don't know. Oh, yeah? Then how come she gave me her good luck charm, huh? Look, what? We're what? See? 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 But where did you get that? Unless, unless I have one too in my pocket. Hmm, that's just, huh? That's fake. I've got the real one right here in my pocket. There's a locket in my pocket. What? There's two of them. Oh, you know it. I'll teach you to make stuff up. Oh, God. This is going to be so epic, guys. All right. Now, it's the same, pretty much the same boss fight. Well, everything's the same boss fight. It's there's nothing really more to explain. You just just defeat him and save your zero cards just just in case you don't get hit with the zero fear god, dark fear god, whatever that is. And there we go. So pretty simple boss fight, guys. Well, not a simple dude. Stop being stunned. And it's like in Super Smash Bros. Brawl when your shield gets broken, you're just like no. And you know that epic thing is about to happen about you getting hit, but then. They miss, and you're just like, hi, you're such a failure in life. Yeah, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. If you do, well, congratulations to you, or kudos, but most people won't know. Stop doing that, that's so mean. Seam was just jumping out of nowhere. Okay, let's try to do this. Let's go, Goofy. There we go. Look at Goofy. Oh, Goofy just, like, rocked him. And then... Okay, cool. I just got a text message, too, during the boss fight. I know y'all heard that. I'm not gonna answer it though. This is way more important. But what if your text says your mom's dead? Uh, no, no, no. I see. Let's not joke around about that. That's just, that's just, that was a mean joke. Like seriously, why would I even say that? All right. So he has that incrementer thing in the bottom right there, which is one of the things I really hate. Is when enemies use their little enemy cards too. What is it called for them? Any? Well, I guess it is called enemy cards too. But would it be called like? Friend cards for them, like you know how Mickey is a friend card for us. It's probably what it is, but in, unlike you can, they can only use it once in the battle. There we go, and so far so good. 
Jason, good thing we have like a Kyogre card, right guys? And good thing we're getting broken, right guys? And I'm getting stunned, right guys? Oh, shoot. Dude. Okay, there we go. Um, two Donalds. Did he just break me? Oh, God. Don't get, don't get broken. There we go. And I'm glad he didn't attack me. And I like how he has a stabbing. But I like a lot of things, all right? Okay, I hate when he jumps like that. Stop! Dude, I'm gonna die! You selfish brat! There we go. Heal, heal, heal. Don't break it. There we go. Shoot! He's so close to dying. <laughs> Why does he keep on dodging? Like, seriously. There we go. At least it wasn't as hard as Vexen. Alright, so we got the Mega Potion card too. This is pretty nice. And by the way, at level 52, I learned the Mega Flare, and I'm about to show you guys the card deck that I'm about to make. But I'll show you, I'll do that in a bit. Let's just go through this scene first. Because this scene is more important than stuff. If you just run away, you just run away. What the f What? It's like, okay, bye bye, guys. I lost, bye. It's just like the one she gave me. How'd you, how'd you get this? I have no idea how he got that. So, he just turned into a card, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Goofy, thanks for telling us that. I mean, I just said it, you know. Taylor World card. Card. Rika's good luck charm turned into a card? What? So you and Riku had the same memory? Um, that's really weird. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna go up these stairs. Oh, alright, never mind then. Ah, uh, somebody tell me what's going on here. Weren't they just right next to the thing? Let's just keep going, okay? It doesn't matter anymore. Of course it matters, okay? Don't you think it's weird that you and Riku have the same exact memory? You can't be both, right? Oh, so I'm wrong, huh? Fine, don't believe me. I'll just slap you and fuck a punch you! That's not what Donald now. We're just worried that this castle is fake. Then let's hurry up and ask Nominee. That should clear it up, right? Look, we don't have time to sit around, so let's effin' go! Hey man, you don't cuss like that. Sorry, what's happening to you? You don't normally cuss. What's that supposed to mean? I cuss every time. FD, 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 S. You always get real touchy when it comes to Nominee. Did you ever ask yourself why? Before we came to this castle, we didn't even know her name. Now she's all you think about. It's really weird how Donald and Goofy, their memories aren't losing like how Sora is, but maybe we'll figure out why that's happening later on through the game. Think things through, you mean abandon her? Is that it? Huh? No, 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 no. Whatever do you want. Lay back, take a nap. I don't care about it. I'm going to find Nominee. Sora, no! Don't run away! Those are steps right there! They're upstairs! And plus, there's some scissors in your pocket! I guess the suggestive scene is done. You're all he's got left. If you don't stop this, no one will. I like how their voices change. I like to give them different voices each time. <laughs> I don't know, I just find that hilarious how I do that. Like, you people have like, hey guys, what's up? And then all of a sudden it's like, hey guys! You know, it's like... Stick to one voice. <laughs> but that, that's what happens when you don't really remember what kind of voices you give them characters. Yeah, man. Do it right. Did she just run away? Did you just run away? What is up with running away here? Ah, this sound should be good. I am the great Gandalf. I mean, Axel. Haha, <laughs> it's about time you gave me the Triforce. Hey, it's a hell of a show. <gasps> oh, it's a hell of a show. Ooh. Hey, Jiminy's still with us. I forgot. Hey, just because you're Pinocchio's conscience doesn't mean you make Sora's conscience too, right? Yeah, Sora has the right idea. So obviously, we are about to save here. And actually, no. We'll just continue on here. No, 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 no. See, the next card is Destiny Islands, but I also got a key to Premium card, so we're gonna use that on Wonderland. Actually, no. You know what? Let's use that on. 
Oh, I don't know where to use it. Hmm. Very tough. Very, very tough. You know what? Let's just not even use it, because most mo the chances are I'm not even going to use it, so let's just open up Destiny Islands here. Destiny Islands to the rescue! Oh man, Destiny Islands music. So relaxing. It feels like I'm on the beach. I wonder why that it feels like that, though. I'm not going crazy, right? I know exactly where this is. I don't remember. WTB, man? What the butt? Yeah, this is our island. We're not many I used to play together. This is so weird. Hey! Hey, it's Waka, Titus, and Selfie. Some people pronounce Titus' name as Titus, but I don't know. I'll just pronounce it as Titus because that's how I pronounced it. Hey, guys! Am I glad to see you? Uh. What? You don't know our names? Why does he have a scar on his right cheek? He's like a Roni Kenshin, man. I always talk about that anime, too. Roni Kenshin was a very good game. Please, Waka, only you can be dumb enough to not notice food stuck on your face. Hey! Whoa, 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 that's him below the belt, yeah? I don't know, Waka, I think selfie's on the mark. <laughs> oh, not you too, Titus. Titus. Hepatitis. Haha, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Oh, yeah, you're selfie, Waka, and Titus. That's who you are. Hepatitis. You hit your head or something? With the coconut? No, I'm just thinking out loud. I know you're thinking about her again. <gasps> oh, I get it. Yeah, he's a total zombie when she's on his mind. That would explain why he's acting all funny towards us. I bet you want us to take a hike, so you two can be alone, huh? Um... I guess? Alright, alright, we'll disappear for a while. Go get her, cowboy! And I'll be the cowgirl. We'll try to be quiet while we spy on you. Ha <laughs> ha UAV is online. Hey, Sora, seriously, give the man some room. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I won't use my UAV. See you later, Sora. I'll see you, Selfie. You can just, like, run along now. Well, that was a pretty good cutscene. I like that. I was, like, very heartwarming. I'm taking key of beginnings. Well, anyways, guys, I'm about to just end this right here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.